I'm Tim Mecklem, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a NERVS firmware for the Raspberry Pi Zero that lets you use a single micro USB cable to both power the device and run a serial IEX session. I'm going to use the OTG port on the Raspberry Pi Zero for data and power, which requires a special kernel module to be installed, as well as something called a firmware overlay. Using a custom kernel to support this requires something called a custom NERVS system. Building a custom system for NERVS might seem daunting, and I personally was hesitant about doing this at first. After a little practice, it becomes no big deal, and you'll see I've done all the work for this system image already. Now I need a, a Linux environment to build my custom system, so I'm going to run a Docker container on my Mac host to do the NERVS system build. In order to build a custom system image, we need both the NERV system build root and the NERV system RPI projects checked out of Git. I have modified the NERV system RPI configuration to suit my needs here, so I'll check out my own repo instead of the officially maintained package. Here I'm cloning the main NERVS build root repo. In this example, no modifications are necessary to that repo. Now I'm cloning the special RPI0 repo. This repo contains the kernel configuration for gadget mode drivers that lets Linux make a USB interface switch between host and device modes depending on what is attached. It also enables the DWC2 overlay so that the Pi Zero looks like the right kind of USB hardware for the kernel drivers to use. Finally, I'll run a script that takes the two projects and creates a build folder that combines the two into a NERV system image. For the sake of time, I'm going to switch into a directory where I've already made a system image because the initial build time of a fresh system can take a while. I'm making the system image now. Even if make has already been run, this takes a little while. Okay, now we're making the gzipped tar file of the system image so we can copy it over the shared folder to the host Mac file system. This also takes a minute. Okay, now I'll copy the file over, as well as the stock ERL and NIT config file that comes with the system image. I'll explain why I'm doing that in a minute. We're done in the Docker now, so let's move over to the host computer to do the rest. Now that we have a system image, let's stage it for use. I've extracted the NERVS system files, and now I'll let NERVS know the location of the system folder to use instead of the official RPI image. This is done using NERVS system as an export variable, environment variable. Now I'll create a new NERVS app to use the custom system image. In order to use the serial USB connection instead of the default HDMI output for the IEX session, we need to do something called a rootfs addition. We'll tell NERVS where in the local file system to look for files that will override the default image files.
Now I'll create a directory to hold the ERL init config file I copied earlier, and we'll tweak the configuration a little to put IEX on the right console. TTY1 is the HDMI output. What I'm changing it to is something called TTYGS0, and that I believe stands for Gadget Serial 0. That is the USB serial device that gets created with our custom nerves image. I'm also going to uncomment this run on exit command. This means that when I press Control C, Control C, I will actually exit to a shell instead of the, the Raspberry Pi just halting. With those changes, I'm going to run mix depths get and build the firmware just like I normally would. I always forget this step. This is a relatively new thing for me. Now I'll burn it to the micro SD card you see attached to my Mac. Now I'll attach this to the Raspberry Pi Zero and boot it up. All right, it looks like it's done. I should now have a USB modem device on my Mac. When I connect to it, you see that I have an IEX session. This is the running application that Nerves has started with its ERL init config.